Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing the channel. In today video, we are going to understand the concept called statistical key figure. Statistical key figure. This is important concept in the controlling. Statistical key figure is very famous by name shortcut SKR. So statistical key figures is a basis to allocate the cost from one cost center to another cost center. It helps you to determine the base of allocating the cost from one cost center to another cost center. The statistical key figure either can be fixed nature or it can be total also known as a variable nature. Let us see with one example. Example. Let's say you have canteen department. A canteen power center. So in this you have total cost. Let's say food. Food expenses. Food expenses you have. 10,000 rupees. Water expenses. You have. 20,000 rupees ok so this is your total expenses of the canteen department total total expenses became your this product is 12,000 rupees now let's say this 12,000 expenses of canteen department you want to allocate or distribute to other department. Let's say you want to distribute to finance department. And let's say you want to distribute to production department. Okay. So how can you distribute it? How much cost out of this total thousand belongs to finance department and how much belongs to production department so here you can bring the statistical key figure so SKR so maybe county department expenses you can distribute based on the number of employees so how many number of employees are working under the finance department and how many employees are working under the production department so based on the number of employees you can distribute so this is known as a number of employees are known as a statistical key figure so let's say if here 10 people are working here 5 people are working ok now you can divide this cost ok here how can you divide this total cost divided by this total number of employees that is 15 multiplied by individual department. So this must belongs to finance department cost. Similarly, this divided by total number of employees that is 15 multiplied by individual. So this must cost belongs to your production department. And this you are dividing based on the employee statistical key figure. Okay. Based on the employee statistical key figure. So similarly, let's say you have electricity expenses. Electricity expenses. Similarly, we have electricity expenses. So, 
how can we distribute the electricity expense let's say here electricity expenses you have total 1 lakh rupees and you have to distribute this to department so what will be the base let's say base will be here number of units okay so how many number of units finance department has consumed let's say 300 and here how many units production department has consumed let's say 500 units so based on this you can distribute this cost so here how much it will come this total cost divided by total number of units that is 800 multiplied by individual like this this much will come similarly total cost divided by total number of units 300 plus 8 500 is equal to 800 multiplied by individual so this much cost okay so here is statistical key figure you have created as a number of units okay number of units and number of power units if you are getting that with number of power units okay similarly let's say depreciation depreciation amount depreciation expenses let's say there is 20,000 a building okay depreciation expenses and building and this depreciation building is used by multiple department let's say finance department production other department also how can you divide this depreciation so based on the area you can divide so here SKF is equal to area okay area based on area you can so how much area used by finance department and how much area is used by the production department based on that let's say total area of the building is let's say 1000 square meter so let's say 300 square meter is used here and 700 is used here so now this total divided by total area that is 1000 multiplied by individual this much First, you have to allocate to the finance department and this divided by total thousand multiplied by individual. So, this much area you have to allocate to the production department. Okay. So, here while defining the statistical key figure, if you observe, there are two they are two natures one one is known as a fixed so generally number of employees generally at least for a few months number of employees in each department they will be fixed okay so generally fixed nature of statistical key figure doesn't change every month okay for example employee employee in each department is not necessarily going to be changed every month okay today if here 10 if this month in products final department there are 10 employees and in production department there are five employees it is also expected that maybe next month also it is same and maybe next month also it is same maybe after some month it may get also change okay so generally fixed nature of a statistical key figure is assumed that the number of statistical key figure in each month will not change okay here power number of power units so every month it will change because number of units consumed by each department every month it is going to be changed so these are known as a variable kind of statistical key figure building area it will 100% remain same almost every month Okay, so if finance department is using 300 department uh, square feet, production department is using this much square feet, it will generally remain same for all the month. So here there are two kind of statistical key figure. One is known as a fixed, 
another known as a variable. Okay, so fixed are generally assumed that every month they are not going to change, but it doesn't mean that also it will not change. So whenever they are getting change, you have to enter the new statistical key figure for every department. But variable kind of statistical key figure every month you have to enter. So first let us create the statistical key figure, then we will also teach you how to enter the statistical key figure in the system. So now go to SAP. So here you have to go to accounting, go to controlling, go to cost center accounting, go to master data, go to statistical key figure, go to individual and KK01 create. You have to give your controlling area. If you, this is not your control area, go to here and change your controlling area. APCA. Give your statistical key figure code. Okay, I am going to get employee for 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 employee uh, statistical key figure. Put enter. So right here number of employees. Okay. So any expenses if I want to allocate based on the employee statistical key figure then I will be using this one and here you have to tell the unit how you are going to measure the employee so here you can give any let me write here each okay then here you have to choose either it is fixed or it is total so employees are generally fixed so I am going to select it and fixed and save it okay next I am going to create next statistical key figure that is power okay so P O W R power then hit enter you can give number also it is not necessarily that you have to give the alphabet you can give number also and right here number of units number of power units so here kw you can select and you can select this as a total value in variable okay and save Then next step, next statistical key figure you can create a floor area. So area itself you can create it in the floor area. So let's say if area you need a measurement is there, you can select. So I am going to select, it's not available, we can create also, let's say I am going to map the cent centimeter, okay. Then again select floor area, generally it will be fixed nature, okay, select fixed nature and save it, okay. So this is how statistical key figures are created, okay. So variables let's say here variables are in this scenario see they are for january month if this is statistical key figure for january month if it is fixed nature it is assumed that for every month also it will remain same okay it's not going to be changed but in this scenario if this is for the january month then for every month it will be different okay in the for every month you have to enter actual statistical key figure that may be different it may be 150 here it may be 600 here so variable statistical key figure are going to change every month 
and fixed statistical fee figure are going to be same for everyone. At least for a few months, later you can change also. It's not necessary that it will not change, all the time it will fix. Okay. Now, once you understand the concept and once you created here, come to here. So this is to change, this is to change the statistical key figure, this is to display the statistical figure, this is to delete the statistical key figure. Okay. And same statistical key figure you can create from the theory app also. So theory app is manage statistical key figure. This is the theory app name. Click here. If you have already created any statistical key figure, you can check here. Give some parameter and rolling area and click on go. So these are the statistical key figure you have already created. If you want to create anything new, you click on this one and same thing comes what you have entered there. So give a statistical figure name, base quantity, description, controlling area, either it is fixed or total and save, create it. Okay. Now how to enter the actual statistical key figure? This one this one how to enter in which department what is the employee what is the number of floor and what is the area in which department so you have to use t code called kb 31 n let me show you come to here and come to statistical key figure so this is the t code kb 31 n Click here, okay, give the cost center name here, so my cost center finance department and production department, so you can give the, give the cost center name here, okay, you can give here a statistical key figure which you created, let me see if I have any cost center, so let's say finance department, and another one is a production department. Production department. Okay, so these two department I enter finance department and production department. First, I am going to enter employee statistical key figure. Select here employee. Employee EMPL. You check here where it is. This is your number of employees. This is your controlling area. This is the statistical key figure. Click here. Click here also. EMPL. And you can enter the total quantity. That is 10 and 5. So 10 and 5. I have not maintained the number ranges. You have to maintain the number ranges. Then only you will be able to enter. So this is the error I am getting. I will maintain the number in later. So once you enter, then you have to save it. So this is how you have to enter the statistical key figure for each cost center basis. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot for watching the video.